Hey Max, Ken McAnally. This is just a, a quick video to uh, comment on the swing that you're heading into the net uh, across the swimming pool. Uh, we're going away for a couple of days uh, flying uh, tomorrow. Uh, so I, I thought I'd just put a few thoughts together, give you something to, to work on or to think about uh, between, between now and the next video. It is an extremely good golf swing. I know that, you know that, and pretty soon uh, you're going to be playing uh, competitive golf at a very high level. I feel sure of that. Uh, you're obviously capable of hitting very, very good shots and you're capable of scoring. I just want to make a couple of points about little things that I see in the swing, a couple of small things that I see in the swing that very often let players down when they come to competition. Uh, my, my theme is always practice is one thing, uh, real play on the golf course is something else. Uh, and I think it's, uh, it's incumbent upon a lot of players to say, I know I'm hitting the ball well in the practice area, but is my swing really good enough for um, use in competition? Now, obviously, there are ways around that. You can, you can change the shot. You can change the target with every shot on the practice area, distance, direction. You can change clubs with every shot um, to try and simulate uh, real play out on the practice area. And I would suggest you do that. But there's a couple of little things that I'll put on this video and do a voiceover for you uh, that I think might be uh, worth thinking about forward. Again, it's a very, very good swing and I don't expect you to make huge changes to it. Uh, as you go forward, but it just might give you something to think about uh, going forward. Friend, and uh, congratulations on the score. Uh, I suspect there's more to come, and uh, we'll talk again soon. I just wanted to get you to have a look at the hands position on the backswing, which is uh, the yellow circle uh, there. And then again, the hands position at the same height, uh, which according to the red circle, is there. It's not an excessive difference, but it's something I'm a little concerned about. The second part of that is where is the club shaft angle at these points? That's the club shaft angle on the backswing at the yellow, the yellow line, and that's the club shaft angle on the downswing, the red line. And you can see by a comparison of the two, by doing an overlay, that there's quite a difference between the the club shaft angle on the backswing and the downswing. Again, it would be better if those two were swapped over. Through into impact, there's a, a great rotation, a very good rotation of your lower half. Uh, the head does tend to drop down just a little bit too much, but your hands are in a very, very similar position between address and impact. It's a very, very professional looking uh, impact position and I see no reason to change any aspect of the late downswing. Bye for now.